All right, so once we get the valve out, you guys, a couple things you need to check. Now, right here on the valve, between the face of the valve where it seats and the head of, valve, head of the valve, there's a flat surface here. That is what's known as the valve margin. We have to measure the width of that valve margin. The width of the valve margin is important because if it gets too thin as the valve wears or as we recondition the valves, it can actually cause the valve to overheat and burn and, and fail. So we want to measure our valve margin right there and make sure it's within specs. Another thing we want to do is we want to check our valve stem to guide clearance. Now, like anything else, the, the stem rides inside of a guide put it in backwards here you can see there's a valve guide in there and that valve stem is going to ride up and down that valve guide that's in that cylinder head bring that down over here that valve guide that's in that cylinder head it's like a little sleeve that that valve rides in so that valve rides up and down in there now that valve guide over time wears out when this valve is going up and down that's going to cause the valve to be very sloppy in there. It can actually let excessive oil run down the valve guide into the cylinders and cause the engine to smoke and it also calls, causes valve seating upset. So the valve is not seating straight, it, it can actually wobble in here and it'll cause the valve to seat incorrectly and that causes leakage past the valve. So we have to make sure that we check that valve guide and the valve stem for proper clearance. So the way we check the inside diameter of the valve guides, there's multiple ways. We have very small bore gauges that we use this, like most machine shops will use that. In our lab, we have a, a ball gauge or a transfer gauge or an inside small hole gauge. And what we're going to do is you just run this down until it's, it's contracted and it's at the it's smaller size. And then we just put it inside the valve guide like that. So we're going to put that right inside the valve guide. We're going to put that right inside the valve guide. And we're just going to expand this gauge out until it gets snug in there. You don't want to over tighten this. Just expand it out until it just gets a little bit snug right there. And then we're going to pull that out. Now I can't read this by looking at it. I can't look at it and go, yeah, it's about this much. We have to transfer that reading to a micrometer. So we're going to take a 0 to 1 mic. Now you want to measure this opposite the split or 90 degrees from the split. And we're just going to get on, on that and very gently mic the diameter of that. We're going to lock our mic and we're going to take that reading and we're going to compare it to the diameter of our valve. There is a clearance specified for this. It's usually between 1 to 3 thousandths depending on the head. But what we're also going to do is we're going to mic our valve stem here. We're going to take those two readings, we're going to subtract the difference, and the difference is going to be our clearance. Remember, the valve has to be able to move, so the guide is going to be slightly larger, but if it's too big, it can cause valve seating problems and oil consumption problems.